still on matters of health, Kenya has uh, hit the target of vaccinating 10 million Kenyans against COVID-19 by end of 2021, with over 10 million people vaccinated as of yesterday. Kenyans who are fully vaccinated are, however, being urged not to lower their guard after cases of severe diseases have led to hospitalization emerge among a section of the vaccinated population. Here is that story with our our reporter Nancy Okware. With the country recording increased cases of COVID-19 and the positivity rate consistently over 25% in the past few weeks, the government is calling upon the public to be extra vigilant. About a month ago, the government rolled out a drive to ensure 10 million Kenyans are inoculated, a target that was reached as of December 30th, 2021, with statistics from the ministry indicating that 10 million 2,184 vaccines had been administered. Health Chief Administrative Secretary Dr. Masi Mwangangi, however, says the country is not out of the woods yet. We are seeing more cases of, of people getting uh, um, COVID-19 um, even when they've been fully vaccinated and that is to say they've either, they've, they've either received one dose of J&J &J or they've received the two doses of all the other platforms that we have of vaccines. We are seeing what we are calling breakthrough cases. That means people who end up still getting COVID-19. She, however, urged Kenyans to present themselves for vaccination, saying the vaccinated still stood a better chance of survival. We are seeing people who are getting severe disease, um, who are ending up in ICUs. But I can tell you, in terms of the data that we are reviewing, our mortality data, people who are passing on, we are seeing still that the vaccine is offering protection against death. At the same time, Dr. Mwangangi said despite the recent spike in cases in the month of December being associated with the Omicron variant, governments across the globe were still awaiting a verdict from the World Health Organization on whether the new variant is more transmissible and more severe. That perhaps Omicron is spreading faster than the Delta variant. It does point to perhaps a possibility of it being more transmissible from one person to another. What we are thankful for in terms of Omicron is that we are seeing a milder presentation of cases. Uh, we are awaiting WHO that will then confirm scientifically for us after they collect data from all parts of the world, different countries, that indeed Omicron does present with milder symptoms. She, however, noted that Kenya has already rolled out the booster shot administration with the first phase targeting the vulnerable groups. Right now, as a first phase, yes, we are focusing on those who are most vulnerable. So the elderly, like I said, those with chronic conditions, um, some, some, some young people who also have chronic conditions are considered to be vulnerable. So we are focusing on them. As time continues, different countries have extended the booster dose vaccination to the whole population, and Kenya will also follow those footsteps. If you had J&J, J&J was one dose, meaning you were considered to have been fully vaccinated. Now, if you got J&J, then you can then come forward at month six or within that period and receive your booster. And your booster can be J&J, it can be AstraZeneca, it can be Pfizer, it can be Moderna. Nancy Aquari, Easy Friday.